light crossbow. No, you're not. And this can go in there as well. Uh, yeah, I'll hold on to that for now. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Okay, now we are ex we're, we're exploring some of the last rooms around here, it looks like. Yo, blessed hammer. Do your dirty work for me. Do my dirty work for me, actually. Hot home. Oh, open door. Another unraveling machine. No, run, 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 run. Oh, jeez. I'm getting so close to dying by by my slow reaction times. Uh, because, unfortunately, I got sick again. Seriously, I, I don't even know if this is the same sickness anymore. It's been like six or seven weeks. Something ridiculous. It just will not go away. So my mind is not all there lately. But it should be enough for me to handle Diablo 2. I would think. I would think. I could be wrong now. I do have enough room for the hot tub. Nice. I didn't think I would. Uh, that is it for here. Let's just go this way. Oh, that's... <laughs> We're not even close to done around here. Jeez. This place is huge. A lot bigger than I remember. Wow. Is this going to be the room? Uh, no. This, this isn't even the room. Alright, start killing some unravelers. I got mana burn on me. So unfortunately... Uh, no more blessed hammer. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There we go. Level up is going to save me. Because I was trapped in a corner there and I couldn't use blessed hammer. Jeez. There, finally able to take some of these guys out. Damn, unravelers, these huge rooms just full of people, man. Die, die, die. <laughs> Thank you for dying. Jeez, man. Alright, let me get some of these healing potions. I need lights, I need... Regulars, I'll rearrange them when I'm done. Picking them all up. Miners, no. Miners are, are practically useless to me. Can I pick up this? No. Uh, how was that ring? Plus one to mana after each kill. That is good. That is good. I don't think I have anything that does that right now. Pick up a couple lights. Um... Don't I have room in here? No. Okay. Back to time it is then. Good lord, this is getting scary. I should be able okay. to handle this though. I really should. Uh, let's, let's do the level up. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. More damage, please. <laughs> Give me more damage, even though I technically much. need defense, probably. Give me more be more damage. Alright, half freeze duration, half freeze duration. So these are the same thing, so I can sell this one, obviously. This is awesome and can be sold. Yeah. Plus one defense. Obviously wasn't even helping me out that much. What is this again? No, not even worth putting onto my grand scepter, so I might as well sell it. Uh you you uh, there. But the plus man to every every kill. Do I have anything that's given me after every kill? I don't. Okay, I think it's time for me to move on to that. It's probably not the best decision, but I, I, I do like the, the plus to mana after every kill. And uh, you'll see it just jump up, especially since I'm, uh, I'm only using it for Blessed Hammer. Blessed Hammer probably gives me a, a ton of kills. At least it should, <laughs> if I use it properly. Okay. So, this is just one side. <laughs> well, technically this is now two sides of the three sides of this tomb. Because if you remember, there's, a, there's another way here from the main entrance. And this is going to lead us to the special room. <laughs> and 
and you'll know it when you see it. God, that's a lot of gold bellies. But look, you know, my mana's going to stay pretty much full from now on uh, if I use my Blessed Hammer properly. How's the Unraveler head? It is crap. Just poison damage. I do not like how they give... Um, how they drop items in the games that are clearly class specific, like like the the head there, the Unraveler head. That is only for necromancers, really. Nobody else is really looking at those, uh, unless they're like me and going to sell it. So why would they put one in there without any bonus to to necromancer skills? You know what I mean? Might as well make it necromancer only since they're the only ones that are really going to be using it. Kind of the same with the wands and the scepters. They are class specific, even if you don't want to, want to admit that they are, you don't want to make it so nobody else can equip it. They're the only ones that are going to be using it. But if it's not character specific, uh, then it does sell for more, which I guess is a bonus to it, but you should, I mean, that's not really a reason to to make things that way, I guess. Are they still chasing us? They are. Tons of freaking burning deads. So there's gotta be somebody here. There is. There you are. There's at least two more. Let's go down there so I can do some damage to them. There we go. Two Blessed Hammers is enough to take them out. Might need to level up my Blessed Hammer again soon, instead of Concentration. This Concentration that I got, yeah. There's so many long C words, uh, I think there's Concentration, uh, Conviction, and Conversion, that sometimes I get the, them confused, which one I'm actually using, but I'm using Concentration, which is a game that I'm actually pretty good at. <laughs> well, kids game, though, know, but if it ever comes up in a video game, I can handle it. Although I usually don't like video games where you have to play mini games like that. You know, like uh, flipping the tiles over, um, you know, the matching game like that, or... Uh, I actually played a horror game once that, that in the middle of me solving the case and all that kind of stuff, they're like, okay, if you want the, uh, if you want the password to open up the lock, you're gonna have to play Sudoku. And I'm like, I know how to play Sudoku. I just don't want to play it in my horror game. So it's like a break from, from being scared. There wasn't like any scares while I'm playing Sudoku or anything. It was legitimately play Sudoku so you can so you can get the password and continue on with the game. That was when I was looking for horror games that I might LP. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't been able to find any good uh, flash ones. None of the flash ones scare me. Oh, we found the special room! Uh, but there's... There's still a couple spots that it looks like I didn't go. Yeah, like I said, you'll know the special room when you see it. This one's kind of hard to miss. Um, now let's do it now. You just put the, the staff there. Okay! Oh no. This is opening it up. What's gonna happen here? And... It blasts through a hole in the wall to find Talrosh's chamber. What do you have to say about this, Paladin? Nothing? Come on. He's got nothing to say. That's... But that's a great opportunity for something to say. I do need to go down here. Like I said, there was there was a couple rooms that I missed, apparently. There were a couple rooms, I should say. <laughs> I know my grandma! Die. Apparently I didn't hit anything with the blessing in there. That was ridiculous. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, man, another huge ass room. Uh, Blessed Hammer was really in effect there. Nice. Took out, like, everything at once. Could you hear everything crumble as I hit them? Okay, nice. And is there another one in here? No, okay. Yes! How did you live? 
how did you live? Chip diamond, nice, and a ring. Was that hell shrine? Yeah. Okay. So just this little path here, I guess. Oh god, another chain. If they didn't keep the doors open, this wouldn't be a problem. But because they keep the doors open, then the unravelers can heal through the doors, and I have to go through and try to take them all out before I can take out any of the skeletons, really. Any of these. What are they called? The Burning Dead is the upgrade right now. Ugh, come on. How many, how many unravelers are you going to line up for me? Die. Okay. I think that's it. Let's check down here just to be sure. Nothing down here in the corner. Okay, we are done with unravelers. And actually, we are done with the scarabs. I forgot all about them because they weren't here. But yes, we are done with scarabs. I... Oh man, I am so happy to be done with all the beetles and scarabs and all that kind of stuff. Oh man. And to be honest, from this point forward, I may never uh, try to get any bonuses to uh, well, to l uh, any kind of lightning resist because there's there's not nearly as much point in it, in it um, after you're done with uh, Act 2. What did I pick up? Ew, no, go away. You are gross to me, apparently. I know I have a full healing potion. There we go. Rearranged properly. And we are ready to head into Talrasha's tomb. Properly. Finally. This place was huge. Good lord. This place, man. This is why if, um, if, I'm, if you're level grinding here, I would stay out of the, the normal tomb, the actual tomb. Just go to all the fake ones. They're, they're a lot smaller. There's going to be a good treasure chest at the end. It... Yeah. Oh. Do I have everything I need? I think I do. Whew. This is going to be tough. Let's go to Talrosh's chamber. And we're up against Duriel. Go, 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 go. And now his ear's gonna die. He's gonna. He's. Yeah, he's already dead. Die. Damn it, Gurio. Alright, this is the point where I run. No. Stop hitting me. Alright, run, 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 run. And go back. <laughs> and that's my strategy for Duriel. He is a tough fight. He is Good tough. To see you. Uh, as you saw. I mean, did you see how quickly he wiped out Al Hazir? Jeez. I just, yeah, I, I use Al Hazir kind of as a meat shield. Yeah, might as well saw that. And I hate to put it that way, but yeah, he's kind of a meat shield for me. And then uh, I, as I spam Blessed Hammer, and then as soon as I'm done, uh, I'm out of mana, I go back to town. It's not the, the well, the fairest strategy, but... Damn it, it works. Greetings. Otherwise, uh, you know, I might have to go back and do some level grinding if I wanted to beat him legitimately, I guess you could say. But this is legitimate. Alright. Let's go. Open up my inventory. Open up one of these. Damn it! I used a potion I didn't need to. Alright. One more should be able to do it. One more time through. Yeah, I used, uh, used too many damn potions. Okay. It is an honor to serve you. Yeah, no need to repair, I guess. Uh, but it's always good to check. What do you have? You have light heals. I'll put that up there. Let's go get Al Hazir back. And hopefully he can make it this time. Duriel is very close to dead. Yes, citizen. Um, yeah, like I said, I might have to go back and do some level grinding. If I do, I'll let you know. 
Um, but this uh, this is this is a tough fight. There's no way around it. All right, let's open this up again. Die! Come on, before Al Hazir dies. No, just afterwards. Oh, too bad, Al Hazir. Sorry, man, you didn't make it. Oh yes. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes, yes, I can. I've I've never seen. Impossible. What? I have something in there. I what? can't. What do I have in there? Oh damn. Okay. I killed him. Uh, are you guys gonna tell me? Are you guys gonna talk to me about stuff? Can you just identify Good my evening. items? Yeah, sweet. Good evening. Last time through. How? What is this? This sucks. Get me all hyped up and it's not even good. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I got any good drops from him. Anything that either one of my characters could use. That happens sometimes in boss fights. Alright. So we turn those in. Deposit all that. Go get out his ear. And then we can finish up looting Talrosh's tomb. You know, this probably wasn't the most climactic thing ever, but uh, we killed him. We are very close to the beginning of the third act. Well, the end of the second act. Whatever, same thing. Let's go through here. Stud leather, maybe. Maybe we could use, somebody could use that. I don't know, though. What's the quest say? Explore. All right, so we finished off the second quest finally uh, and now we need to explore Talrosh's tomb which goes through here can I step on those things yeah it turns all green when I squish it now we have a new character another very important character one that I have shown off before but just not in context before. Uh, let me just double check that there's no gold or anything or chests or anything like that hiding back here. You never know. I know in Act 3 there's definitely stuff that you can get after after you kill the boss. Alright, so we now we meet the Archangel Tyriel that has been told to us many times. Even in cutscenes. How you doing, Tyriel? I thank you for my freedom. But I did expect you earlier. I am the Archangel Tyrion. I came here to prevent Diablo from freeing his brother, Bale. But I have failed. Now, terror and destruction roam free throughout your world. Even now, they head towards the eastern capital of Kurast, to the very heart of the Zakharun Temple. There, they hope to find their eldest brother, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned there ages ago. If the three prime evils unite, they will be invincible. Though it is unclear as to what their aims are, it is certain that they must be stopped at all costs. I am broken, and the energies that tie me to this world are diminishing rapidly. You must take up this quest and prevent the three brothers from reuniting. You must cross the sea and search for Diablo and Bale in Kurast. Now hurry, mortal. Time is running out for all of us. Damn, I love Archangel Teriel. He is, he is real cool, actually. <laughs> this will take us back to Luke Elaine, uh, where we need to talk to Jaren. I uh, thank you, mortal. Oh, no, he says the same thing. So, sweet! We've done it! We've killed the Good final day. boss! What do you have to say about this, Deckard Kane? You're welcome. The Archangel Tyriel was the one who gave the Soul Stones to the Herodrum 260 years ago. It is highly unusual for the forces of heaven to so directly interfere with man's destiny. But Tyriel was said to act of his own volition. We have never been able to discern why. Perhaps he goes against the consensus of heaven because he doubts our ability to defend ourselves. Or perhaps he sees more threat than his peers. Where the actions of hell often seem straightforwardly bent on destruction, the motives of heaven are unfathomable. Now make haste. Both Diablo and Bale must be stopped before they join with their brother Mephisto. 
If the three prime evils unite once again, the world as we know it will be no more. So, unfortunately, as they've been saying a few times, uh, we did not kill Bale. Bale made out of there alive. We killed Durio, which is a lesser evil, I guess. Uh, but uh, we need to go stop the three evils because they're all still alive. What's up, Farrah? This is terrible news. Bale is in possession of one of mankind's most powerful mages, and the Lord of Terror guides his path. They must be stopped for I am sure they mean to free their elder brother Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who lies imprisoned under the corrupted city of Kurast. I fear you are walking into a great evil, but your faith can save you. May you walk in the light always. Okay, can, can you give me money? For a flail I won't use? And... For this thing that I won't use? Yeah, uh, give me bad drops. That sucks. Now I'm sure Atma has something to say about this. No? Oh, there she goes. She does. You have proven to be the greatest of heroes, and I am honored to call you friend. Thank you for bringing peace to our lives again. All right. D do you have anything to say? Hey. No. Fine. We are, yeah, Geglash is useless in this. He has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Regents. Drognan, though, he's important. This is a serious setback. It is most unfortunate that Talrasha has been consumed by Bale's destructive influence. There are many secrets known to the Haradrim which could be used by Bale against us. You must travel east by sea to Kurast and stop Diablo and Bale before they free their eldest brother, Mephisto. Oh, the lands of the Eastern Empire are not the same as they used to be. There's been little word for some time. Speed is of the essence. Go quickly, my friend. May the fates smile on you. Apparently they want me to go east. Do you have any good scepters? Better than the one that I sold. That's for sure. Alright. Now we do have a couple more people we need to talk to before we can leave. Screeze one of them? Good day. No. I bet Elzix isn't one of them either. Good day. Nope. And then Lysander? Come on, Lysander. You got something for me to say to, to, say to me? He does. I'm sorry things didn't turn out as you had hoped. Go and remember us fondly. You know, you bothered me far less than most. It's because you only sell potions and nobody really cares. I only bothered you, what, like once? <laughs> once or twice? Uh, we do need to talk to Jaren. I assume Kaylin doesn't have anything to say. Stay out of trouble. Oh, thank you. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> You're so nice. Jaren, what's up? You have done very well. Few could have come this far, let alone discover the true tomb of Talrasha. Unfortunately, I hear that Diablo and Bale have eluded your grasp. This is most unfortunate. If you wish to travel east, I have authorized Mashif to give you passage by sea. I imagine he should be very anxious to leave by now. Good luck on your quest, and thank you again for saving my beloved city. You will always be welcome in Loot Golane, my friend. Alright, so we completed the quest. Talk to Mashif. Okay, but there's still one more person here. I bet you guys forgot about him. It's Wariv, the guy who took us here from the Rogue encampment. Good what do you day. have to say about all this? Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. Never fear, my friend. You did the best you could. I suspect that Diablo and Bale are now heading east towards Korost. You will find them. I know you will. I don't like how everybody is implying that I failed them somehow by not doing this fast enough. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. And I'm like, I did it. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. So we need to talk to Mashif over here. He's the one that's going to take us to our next destination, the one that everybody's been talking about, which is Kurost. Jaren tells me I should take you east to Kurost. I haven't been there for several years, but rumor has it things are pretty grim. And that's all he has to say about that. And, yeah, quest completed. Thank you. 
Yeah, it wasn't completed when I killed uh, Duriel. It wasn't completed when I talked to Tyriel. It was completed when I talked to Mashif. But we're going to have to travel east next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. I have been Baller Scoob. I have been joined, as always, by my paladin and the glass-jawed Al-Hazir. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.